Hey, my name is Zor. I'm the CEO of Ford. Uh, so really excited to be here in this coupon. Uh, it's been an amazing experience. Lots of great people, super interested about platform engineering and developer portals in general. Uh, so today we are going to talk about like the three steps to define your uh, software catalog and the developer portal in general. So the first part is to define the data model. So if you are working on a microservice architecture, serverless shop, if you are using Kubernetes, multi-cloud, or any kind of layout of your software, you can model it using our blueprints. That essentially lets you define any kind of data model for your software catalog. Um, and you can really bring your own way of work into it. Once you define the data model, you're able to ingest data. So you can use any kind of integrations to bring data to port. So we have integrations to the Git providers, infrastructure as code, um, um, Kubernetes, cloud providers, CI CD tools, or anything like uh, uh, any, any um, tool within your toolset. The second part is to define the actions that you want for your developers to perform. So you can allow them to perform any kind of action of your choice. Some of the popular actions are scaffolding a new microservice, making sure that all the boilerplates of the code are, are in place and they're ready to code right away, or getting permissions to a cloud resource if, if you like, or form actions against Kubernetes or Argo CD, like um, update a replica. Uh, count or restart a, uh, a cluster. And the third part is to make sure that your organization comply with your development standards. So you can use scorecards to do that around security, production readiness, quality of code, or any type of scorecard that you would like to, to apply to make sure that your developers um, uh, um, following your best practices and your requirements while they're stay, still staying happy about it and not feel that they are enforced to do anything that uh, uh, during their life the development uh, day to day. Um, so Port was started around uh, one and a half years ago by uh, me, uh, Zor, and Jonathan, my co-founder and CTO. Uh, we were platform engineers in the past. We built a portal for 2,000 engineers uh, we did a lot of mistakes building it once for a large organization, and we got inspired to start a company around it and let every organization in the world enjoy the benefits of developer portal and be uh, and allow their developers to be self-sufficient at once.